Well, uh, remember now, over uh, the last three days, we've been learning that passengers traveling from uh, or to Delhi have had to face major inconvenience due to multiple delays in their flight schedules, either flight cancellations or disruptions that have been taking place. Now, the Delhi airport descended into a complete chaos over the last two days as several passengers had complained of lack of communication from the airlines and were not provided any compensation even for the harrowing time they've had to face. The authorities, however, said that the weather conditions were beyond their control. Remember, over 400 flights were delayed yesterday. And as per information, over 100 flights have been again delayed today due to adverse weather conditions. In the wake of the dense fog, low visibility procedures have also been implemented at the Delhi airport. However, the airport authorities have advised passengers that flights not equipped for uh, low visibility landings, that is category 3 compliant aircrafts, may experience delays or diversions. Now, how, how long the delay could stretch to, one can't say. The DGCA has issued uh, new rules for airlines asking them to publish real-time data on flights, keep customers in loop, airlines may cancel flights which are delayed for more than three hours. So will this now ease passenger woes? Will airlines be held accountable if they do not follow these SOPs? What more needs to be done to facilitate the passengers? We have guests joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Parvez Damania, former director, Kingfisher Airlines and aviation expert, also joins us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. H.S. Kola, former uh, director general of civil aviation, is expected to join us in just a bit from now. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Damania, if I could ask you the first question. The mood question, of course, here remains, whose accountability is it? Isn't it of the airline to communicate better with the passengers? Mr. Damania, if you're able to hear my voice, I'm asking where does the accountability lie? I can't, the hear, passengers... you. I can't hear you. Mr. Damania, if you're able to hear my voice? Yeah, now I can, now I can. What more uh, is needed to facilitate passengers? You know, where does the accountability lie is the first question that I'm asking you. First and foremost, no airline wants to deliberately make life difficult for passengers. Sometimes it's way beyond uh, the capacity of the airline. But what is missing is a proper planned protocol in a situation like this. The problem starts because there is total confusion. The airline doesn't have any proper answers for the passengers. The passengers don't know how to react. And that's where things get out of hand. Uh, you call Mr. Kola on the discussion. He's one of the most prominent and most highly educated person of the industry. He will also tell you that in the aviation business, there's a manual for everything. Why can't there be a standard protocol manual made for situations like this, which can be discussed and approved by the TGC? The problem is, at a certain stage, the airlines act as if they are not accountable to the passengers. Hmm. I'm not saying they are deliberately doing it, but every system fails. Fog cannot be controlled at the airline, but the quality and standard and support to be given to the passengers is completely in hands of the airline. If passengers are informed, posted up to date, given food, water, accommodation when required, the confusion will not become so much. The fog Absolutely, will be Mr. there Dabania, and the fog you know, will come every unfortunate, year and this confusion you know? happens yes, every year. Yes, I want year. to ask you a question here. The airlines to, better, yes, it's better than the airlines answer, have a system in place for situations like this. What you've been saying is that airlines like are responsible, but, but to a certain extent. But what happened? After the Indigo flight was uh, delayed for several hours, there are pictures, there are videos that are floating on social media. Passengers were seen sitting next to the uh, airline, next to the plane, and eating their food. That's very unfortunate that has happened. Sorry, can you repeat it, please? I couldn't hear you. Mr. Damania, what happened with the Indigo case, I'm saying, is very unfortunate. If you're able to hear me clearly now. Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. Yes, so what happened with the Indigo case is very unfortunate. You're saying the complete responsibility doesn't lie with the airline, but they could have done the minimum, the bare minimum to facilitate the passengers. We have Correct. videos, videos, photos that are floating on social media that show passengers were eating their food sitting next to the aircraft right Absolutely. next to the aircraft sitting at the tarmac very, that's very, very, very dangerous. that's very unfortunate very unfortunate and very dangerous i saw the video of the passenger assaulting the pilot 
however agitated he might be however wrong things have gone i don't think anybody has a right to assault a pilot he is also in a mess as much as we all are so i think that was absolutely absolutely wrong for the passenger with the pilot and whatever legal action should be taken should be taken on him we've all gone through this process we've all been through this pain but it doesn't give us a right to go and assault an officer of the airline and not a captain in anybody as much fight well that's of course not justified uh, but what about the passengers uh, many have pointed it out on social media that it was because of the mismanagement of the airline that uh, the passengers were frustrated where does the responsibility lie here with the airlines or oh, or the passengers you, don't you think they've been left stranded completely in the absolutely, situation absolutely that's what i'm saying the fog is not in control of the airline but definitely supporting the passenger making their life easiest possible giving them the information that is required informing them well in advance and providing them food water and accommodation in case of requirement that should have been done no airline can be forgiven for not providing that the airlines have to understand that today the entire success story of the aviation business is there because of the support of the consumer and the kind of growth that the consumer have made it happen for the airline business so it is very important for the airlines to look after their consumers and support them in every way the success story is because of the consumer who's paying a lot of money to get on the flight and he deserves the standard and quality of service that is promised to him well absolutely now the dgca has also issued sops to facilitate passengers will that ease the woes of the customers of the passengers no the what i am saying the dgca is well aware that the fog comes in every year if the dgca asks the airline to prepare a protocol and a method to handle the situation and if this protocol is approved by the dgca along with the airline then if a situation arises we know who to be held accountable no who should be held accountable then the airline will have to follow that manual and that protocol that this many hours the flight could cancel this many hours the food should be provided this many hours the accommodation provided this is the way we will inform the airlines are doing an excellent job running these airlines they're doing a very good job why in the case of this kind of situation fog and emergencies to systems collapse hmm. the airlines need to study that today these airlines are not small they are some of the largest airlines in the world and they need to have the protocol and a plan in place for situations like this so you're saying that the rules the new rules or the sops that have been issued now should have been done in advance the preparation for uh, this situation any kind of adverse situation should have been done in advance it's not just up to the airlines but the dgca also has a role to play here and it should have uh, you know made those arrangements in advance correct then this the collapse won't occur no and the passenger should also see at the same time the passenger should also understand that some of the things are way beyond control of the airline so the passenger should also try and understand and cooperate as much as possible but the cooperation of the passenger will come subject to them understanding that the airline is doing the level best for them a lot of times what happens when the passengers get rowdy 300 400 passenger counters the staff just vanishes you know that is where the problem starts there's nobody to answer there's nobody to communicate there's nobody to give information hmm. somebody's running for accommodation somebody running for food so that is when the problem occurs well absolutely sir and also you know we have to understand uh the ordeal of the passengers who've been sitting inside the plane for about 13 to 17 hours it's not just with the indigo case and air india passenger also had reached out to us just yesterday and uh, shared her ordeal about uh, what she went through while uh, she had to uh, wait she had to sit in the aircraft for about 17 hours along with other passengers it's not just one off case it's with other airlines as well but absolutely and you're rightly saying that much more needs to be done in advance and you know there should have been arrangements in place in order to mitigate such situations and uh, deal with such situations thank you so much uh, mr damania for uh, you. Uh, you know sharing those insights with us and uh, speaking to ndtv on that